The final example in this series of videos is another algebraic proof. And this one is related to finding uh, the sum to n terms of a sequence. So we're asked here to show that the sum of the first n odd numbers is given by n squared. So again, this is, a, this is another show or another proof where we haven't clearly got an expression that we're working out. We're gonna to have to find an algebraic expression for the sum of the first n odd numbers and then show that that equals our n squared. So if you haven't had a crack at this, you might want to make a start now. Um, or if you'd prefer, you can watch the first few steps um, that I put together and then maybe have a go at it from there. But uh, we are looking at the sum of the first n odd numbers. So I'm going to write out what that sequence looks like. So it looks like this. That's the first odd number. Three is the second one. Five, seven and so on, okay? Up to the nth odd number, we don't know what that is, depends on what n is. Let's write down what we know about this sequence. The first term is one. The common difference is going to be two, okay? Now, the sum of the first n odd numbers. Let's look at our sum to n terms. Oh, my page is jumping all over the place. There we go. Sn equals n lots of a plus l divided by two. Let's substitute in what we know and then we'll work from there. We know that a is one. Okay, we don't have a fixed n to put in because this proof is, a, is general, it's about n numbers, n could be any number. We wanna keep the n there, so it's gonna stay. We do, however, need to get rid of this L, okay? And we can get an expression for that. The last term in this series is Tn. And we have an expression for Tn. Our formula for the nth term is Tn equals a plus n minus one d. And we know what a and d are. a is one. We don't know what n is, so we'll keep that as n minus one. d is two. Now I could write times two here. It looks a bit weird though, because we're used to being on this side. So I will put the two out the front of the bracket there. So that is what my L is. I'll write that in. So this L needs to be replaced with this whole expression here. One plus two N minus one. And all of this is divided by two. Okay, this looks like a bit of a mess. So let's just have a think about where we're going. Remember where we had to show the sum of the first N odd numbers is given by N squared. We've now got an expression, albeit an ugly one, uh, for the sum of the first n odd numbers. So if we tidy this up, we should, if this statement is true, get n squared. And that's gonna be the last step of our proof. Have a go at it if you haven't done it already. Let's work it out. What I really need to do here is expand this inner set of brackets. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, two times n is two n. Two times minus one is minus two. Divided by two. Now some very nice things are gonna happen here. Uh, I can gather some like terms together here. One plus one is two, minus two is zero. So all of these constants are gonna cancel. And on the top I'm left with n times 2n. Uh, expanding this top bracket here, n times 2n is 2n squared. That 
two still on the bottom. And very nicely, my two my twos are going to cancel, and I'm left with n squared. And that was what we were asked to show. QED. That is, we've proven what we needed to prove.